Today we got two possible sightings of Brian Laudry. Welcome back to the channel everybody where we cover murder, mystery, to the paranormal. So Dennis Daniels, a concerned citizen, claims he saw and talked to Brian Laudry. Here's a small clip from the 911 call. Hey, we're County 911. What's the location of your emergency? Um, well, I'm I'm on the highway right now, but um I, I ran into Brian Lauer just a little while ago. Okay, where did you see him at? Um I was I was at the parking lot for the Appalachian Trail on Waterville Road. Okay. And just on Waterville, or did you see him near a house? Could you see a mailbox? He was he was driving a truck, and I stopped and spoke talked to him. I was t making a U-turn, and in the road, and he came up behind me and he slowed down and kind of flashed his lights, like telling me, "Oh, go ahead and go, and I'm going to wait for you." And as I turned around and I'm coming back by him, he's waving his arm out of out of his truck, like for me to slow down. Mm -hmm. And I pull up next to him. I'm getting ready to go. He was he was talking wild. He to he said that his girlfriend loved him and he had to go out to California to see her. And he was asking me how to get to California. And I said, well, you can get on I-40 right there and drive west, and you'll get there. And he said, no, I think I can go this way, and kind of left. But he was acting funny. And I wasn't sure about what he looked like. And then I got, I went and parked and pull, pulled up the photographs of him. And I'm 99.99% .99 sure that was him. Now, the fact that he called 911 immediately, and not only one time, but multiple times in different counties, he does seem more credible. I really do believe he thinks he saw him. Keyword thinks. But would Brian Laundrie actually just stop and flag someone down just to talk to someone and get directions? Plus, where did he get the vehicle? And now that means he would have to stop and get gas, risking being on camera. Now what really got everyone's attention was the fact that he was near the Appalachian Trail on a back road called Waterville Road. A lot of us speculate that is where Brian could be on the Appalachian Trail. But let me know what you guys think about this sighting. Do you think it could be Brian? As of now, it is still unconfirmed. There is a plane with a banner that is flying over the laundry's house right now which says Justice for Gabby, TikTok, time's up. Apparently TikTok has paid for it to fly around the laundry's residence. So here is the second possible sighting that is going around. This one was sent in to me. This was captured on the same day they had found Gabby Petito's body. Apparently this guy was listening to the news on his phone when they had found her body. This video has been sent in to the FBI and other sources. I don't really know why he would have a Range Rover, so I don't really think it's Brian, but I thought I would at least post it. Let me know what you guys think. The FBI is still searching the Carlton Reserve with a much smaller force, and Lisa Chapman has tweeted that they are still working hard on the case, but no big news came out from them today. If you want to stay updated on the latest from the Gabby Petito case, please click subscribe and hit that like button. Please take a look at today's missing persons poster. Take care of yourself and tell someone you love them. Thank you.